Good afternoon. So I want to share this really quick. Um, I recorded a video early on um, about the revival that's taking place or was taking place in Kentucky, in Asbury, Kentucky, well, Asbury College. Um, it's a pretty long video. It's about 20 minutes, but I'm debating. Well, now I'm debating. I'm praying on whether I should post it or not. Um, I reached out to a uh, dear sister in the Lord who is really, really grounded and rooted in the, in the Word of God. And um, I'm waiting for her to get back to me on what she thinks, what her take is on it. Um, so uh, so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I have this a lot of things going on. So anyway, so I was texting somebody else and, and we we're touching base on, on this certain topic. And then um, one thing that I said to this person, I said, um, we know that there's a particular section of our um, population, our, um, of our, you know, their, their community is, which comprises just 1% or less than 1% of the population, has completely hijacked and distorted our government, uh, our schools, and many of our churches. Um, and then I said to my friend, I said, remember, the enemy is going after the weakest among us, and they are our youth. They are those who are sick in many ways, physically, mentally, emotionally, and even financially. They are the leaders of our nations and so forth. Remember, um, I'm going to read some verses. So I, I, I said to my friend, I said, remember these verses, what the word of God tells us um, about these uh, the enemy trying to devour uh, the youngest and the weakest among us. And First Peter uh, chapter 5, verse 8 says, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom to devour. And in John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, The thief comes only to steal, to steal, kill, and destroy. And then in First John 4, verses 1 to 3 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of Antichrist, which you heard was coming and is now already in the world. And then in Second Peter verse uh, chapter two verse one says, "But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destruct destructive heresies, even denying the Master who bought them, bringing upon himself swift destruction." And finally, in Genesis chapter three verse thirteen, then the Lord God said to the woman to Eve. What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me and I ate. The serpent deceived me and I ate. There are many serpents out there. Are you being deceived? Are you being deceived where people are masking uh, light, darkness with light, not true light, uh, where they're calling evil good and good evil, where um, they're, they're just attacking. So anyway, getting back real quickly to this, um, how the adversaries is like a roaring lion seeking who to, um, to devour. Um, it reminds me, I've always watched many nature shows. Uh, I grew up, you know, when my dad loved the nature and we were always watching all those nature channels uh, or nature shows. And it, it always reminds me how beautiful scripture is. And I, you know, you see these lions and hyenas and how they slowly hiding in the bush, you know, just looking at their preys. You know, they're looking at whatever it is, whether it's the wildebeest, the zebras, they just intently look and, and they notice it's right, right on point right away. It, it's amazing how they are, how they notice the weakest one. Uh, it's either one that's sick. It's either one that's small that's frail it's either one that that's not protected so they attack they pounce they single they group together okay you'll see five or six lines how they it's very smartly and keenly group together and corral that one weak one that one little one away from the herd and attack and kill and destroy that little one so it is with society so it is in our world because the enemy does the same thing Okay, the enemy sends not one person, but two people, three people, a group of people to come after you. 
okay? Because they, he sees your weakness. He sees if you're weak in your spirit, in your walk with the Lord. He sees your weaknesses through the sins that you're committing. So it's very important that we stay focused, that we stay focused on the Lord and we stay close to him because he is our shepherd and the shepherd watches over his flock. So it's beautiful. We're close to him and the enemy tries to attack us. We just say to the enemy, we belong to Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus Christ. And right away, he has to flee. The word of God tells him he has to flee. So be careful of all these deceptive people out there. These, these groups that are trying to pervert, okay? Pervert your mind, pervert your children, pervert the community, pervert the world. It's already perverted enough, but they continue. Did they pervert? this so-called revival in Asbury. I don't know. Look forward to my next video if I post it. If not, you can do some research on yours. God bless you and have a nice weekend.